we're about to get into some heat here. We had just started a new combat section of the game. I'm ready. Yeah, so before we go back to Mr. Stewart, I've been told many times that I should uh, do side quests. Because that is where... Um, that's kind of like the point of no return. I also have no memory of what on earth... Like, we did this room, we saved the game, and then... We must have entered through here. We, I don't think we have to go back this way. This doesn't seem right. I have no idea. Uh, excuse me? It's very dangerous. Because there's uh, endlessly respawning enemies. So we, if we're going in the wrong direction, it might take us a while to realize it. Crumpets? Nay or yay? I'll tell ya. I'm not the biggest fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But when Raphael says you gotta know what a crumpet is to know what cricket is. I, I feel that. Oh my god, it's so loud. Is it normally this loud? Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that I do not know... Um, I'm just lowering the volume here. I do not know... what a crumpet is. I thought a crumpet... Yo, seek and strike. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. <sighs> I thought a crumpet was like an English muffin. Oh, you know what? You're right. I should lower the music in-game. Instead of doing it on my end, just so the voices aren't low. Okay, this cannot be the right way. That's what Lou Bega says before Mamba number five. The crumpet! Ha! Okay, now I need another second because I'm going to go over here, configure video, take us back to, oh, that's way too loud. Take us back to here, which is where we were at earlier, and then, in-game, option. You know, I guess maybe we'll just live with it. Why did I assume? No, the option settings have not been changed. Why did I assume that there would be an options menu for that? Must be some kind of fool. There is in your blinds. There was a sound menu. There is a sound menu. You're absolutely right. Actually, music? Keep that about there. I have no idea what SV is. I'm assuming that's sound effects. And then CV, character voices. <laughs> character volume. It says sound volume. Who knows what that means, though? That could mean anything. So I thought for sure I opened every single one of these, but I might be mistaken. Oh, apparently not. Organized in exactly the way that you would expect them to be. The space here looks too conspicuous. Someone removed something. I got a broken safe. Uh-huh, uh-huh, ooh. You guys like the pixies? I mean, who doesn't? Sorry, so I'm gonna skip this because I'm not, I don't want a profile. <sighs> who?
Who? The Pixies? You know, Zoe Deschanel, Kate Winslet, Kat Dennings. Excuse me? Wait, what? It hit me with a doo doo doo. But I didn't see anything. Oh, it's just bullets. I like that sign that goes, La Muñeca! That's, um, that's Crackety Jones. He goes, uh, Come, come, Crackety Jones! Come, come, Crackety Jones! Yeah, you're absolutely right. Well, we've done a lot. Let's save. Let me out, please. You came in where the vines are? Okay, thank you. That's actually very helpful. They're gonna cut off your head, Munyeka. <laughs> I have no idea what Munyeka means, just for the record. Oh, but, oh wow, what a shot! Dude, I need to auto-aim like this in PUBG. No, I have not seen El Camino yet. But I listened to the song, you know, the a Tribe Called Quest. I li she said, why can I gotta go? Cause I left my wallet in El Camino. I left my wallet in El Camino. Is it, is it anything like the song? Cause the song is only like three and a half minutes long. So, I don't feel like I need to see the movie at this point. Let me, do I have to shoot the lock? I'm sorry. Observe, please. I can't leave now. <laughs> Chilling in the back of my El Camino. Yeah, that's, I was trying to think of the lyric. As a kid, um, was a skid. No one knew us by name. Crashed my own house party because nobody came. I gotta see it. I like, I, I love Breaking Bad. I love Better Call Saul. I have heard that El Camino is, uh, Worse than both, but still good, is is the consensus that I've heard. It's on par? That's honestly fantastic news. And there's no reason for me not to watch it. I need, just need to make like a two hour window. Got any theories about it so far? Yeah, I got some theories. Like, I think it's it, it goes like this. I think Jesse Pinkman's mother went away on a month-long trip. Her and some friends on an ocean liner ship. She made a few mistakes, leaving me alone. I had to roam, so I picked up the phone. Call Shahid up to see what was going down. Something, something, something. So we could drive around. Hmm? Took the Dodge Dart, a 74. My mother left the yard but I needed one more Shahid had me covered with a hundred green backs so we left Brooklyn and we made big tracks I don't remember all of the lyrics but I'm doing my best all the time Fife. no I've never heard of <sighs> Shahid in Breaking Bad. He's he's behind the scenes. He's a producer. <laughs> well, we must have started in here. Are there any parasite showings in Vancouver yet? No. Caden and I have been talking about it. There's no parasite showings in Vancouver. Apparently, it showed here for uh, the Vancouver International Film Festival. But, uh, we didn't know. Don't tell me it's the freaking filing cabinet room again. 
So, uh, I, I assumed, you know, we got we get a lot of foreign films in Vancouver. I don't want to brag, but one of the three largest cities in Canada. We have a large, you know, Korean population in the city. And there's like four movie theaters. So I'm like stunned that there's that there's no showings yet. But I hear it's amazing. You know I want to see the lighthouse too. Let me in. Let me in. It's a new room. Any theories about deadly premonitions so far? Yeah, it's uh, El Segundo. He said, my name is Pedro. If you need directions, I'll tell you pronto. You get the joke at this point, I'm sure. You probably don't need me to prove that I know more lyrics from... Uh, I left my wallet in El Segundo. You know me, I'm a creature of habit. Back when I was biking, I basically just listened to the best of A Tribe Called Quest for like six months straight. No! Got him. Skirt. I was positioning myself to get into his blind spot. Three for one, boys! <laughs> what about Bone Thugs? I do occasionally when I'm working out I listen to one of two Bone Thugs songs. First of the Month, which is a song that I can definitely relate to on a, on a spiritual level. And uh... Bum 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 I see you at the crossroads so you won't be lonely. See you at the crust. So you won't be lonely. The great song. is It's an unbelievable song. Thank you. I always love when I go hard on the, the Bone Thugs reference and somebody pops in with the I'm gonna miss everybody. I'm gonna miss everybody. About it, and gonna miss everybody. A, hey, get out of here, dude! I'm almost out of chocolate chip cookies. Excuse me? Fast rolling. Thank you, thank you. The shotgun sucks. I don't know, it's been pretty good at killing uh, three enemies simultaneously, even though I missed two of them. I'm enjoying that part of it for sure. I've already said my piece on Joker, okay? It's not a hot take. The movie has like a 58 on Metacritic. I refuse to buy into the narrative that, you know, I'm the only person on planet Earth who, who did not enjoy the Joker. All I'm gonna say is if you enjoy the Joker, that's cool. Just please get out of my mentions telling me I didn't get it. I got it. It's not a, uh, the movie is not subtle. If you like it, that's cool. I didn't, that's cool too. Yeah, I also didn't like Annihilation. That's very true. Dried drops of water. I know. I'm going to take a lot of heat for the Annihilation one. I wish I liked Annihilation.
to be fair, I did also read the synopsis of the book of Annihilation before I saw the movie. Before the movie was even out. So I kind of like, I knew where it was going. I was like, I don't know, this movie's not going to be out for like a year and a half. So I spoiled it for myself and thought I would forget, but I didn't. Zack, looks like we need to continue our search for the documents. Got him. <laughs> George, I'll get right to the point. Yo, what a it suit, It looks like dude. someone else has just removed the documents I'm looking for. Huh? Removed? The cabinet looks like it had been forced open. That's impossible. No one could break into there. No. Emily. There is one person Thomas. who can access that room at any time. You don't mean Thomas? It's always too early to speculate. And profiling is my job, remember? More importantly, Emily. Could you get Hell yeah, brother! Fresh one Took us like two hours to get to our first Life is Beautiful last time. At a time, time like this, why now? Emily, please. Why Emily is the better is question. Important. Why don't you ask George to and bring some milk get you the some. coffee? Oh, hello, Austin. Actually, I don't want to talk over the voices, but I do need to say, no shiny trap inch yesterday. Exactly. Community day let me down. You know something, don't you? Got some good ones. Get some coffee. Had a had a good Saturday either you know. way, but no shinies. I was surprised. I also only played for like an hour, but still, usually in an hour you get like like three or four. Great mug. Ooh. Ah. Zach, this is amazing. <laughs> Even the taste of her coffee is thrilling, to say the least. What a strange what? comment. No, nothing. This isn't the cup that Thomas always uses for me, is it? I'm the fish are biting too, at. Then. I just used a cup that was nearby. You have a problem with that? A problem? Not at all, my dear Emily. The coffee is perfect. Well, okay, taste aside, this cup certainly is perfect. The big fish are biting. At Velvet Falls. George, Emily, we're going to Velvet Falls. There's something waiting for us there. I can feel it. You're, are you joking? You're trusting your cup? No, Emily. Going to a waterfall just might be a good idea. Explain but yourself, George. Feng Shui. A waterfall. Oh, he's a Feng Shui expert. Power. Of course. Even if we find nothing there, I'm sure it will give us some power. Thanks for the vote of confidence, George. And don't forget to bring a fishing rod. All right. I'll go get it. Fishing? Oh. <laughs> Are you too serious? George. Why so Isn't serious? It? Do you want to know how I got these scars? Yeah, this is where your tax dollars go. Paying York to go fishing at Velvet Falls. Do you want to know how I got these carps? What do you get when you cross a fishing rod with a piece of bait. My ass! Exactly. Exactly. The textures. Ah, gravel beach. Zach, I hope we can catch a big one. No, I don't want to use Worm X. Please, give me Legend Worm. They won't let me. Three, two, one, go. Gotta catch a honker, a killer with a raincoat. 
gotta use my left hand to balance while I fish. Gotta catch the killer in small town. Organ. Okay, hold on. We want, we want loot. We want loot. Go. Let's go. No, game over. We caught a Emily. I love the brace with the left hand. This is my man's doing a circus dumbbell lift. Okay, here you go. Oh no, maybe we gotta catch the documents, dude. I gotta, 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 He's so good. Good fishing, Zach. We've caught something. Let's not even worry before. about the insanity In of the this of scene. The FBI, I'm probably the only one who fished out documents thrown into a waterfall. Don't you think so, Zach? <laughs> hey, pick it up, dude. You're making me anxious here. Don't believe it. Files from a waterfall. Nice of them to laminate it in advance. For eternal life and eternal power, make four human sacrifices on rainy nights, each after eating the seeds. Hello, Cobalt. Thank you. Make sure the sacrificed eat the seeds, too, before they die. The sacrificed must also not speak while they are being killed. What does that all mean? That's a tough one, Emily. It's, it's pretty new and nuanced. The new raincoat killer. George, have you ever seen this handwriting? <gasps> yes. It's Thomas's. No, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. George, I need to take these documents to Harry. He said he'd tell me everything once I take the documents. Have to you him. seen Thomas's body language? He doesn't Those have classified. I can't allow us. He doesn't have the future. testosterone count to be this kind of spree go killer. Go most of the town. I agree with George. Harry is. How can I put it? He might be dangerous. You don't need to worry. You said it yourselves, didn't you? There has never been a mass murder case in this town. That means these documents pertain to a case that never actually happened. Just look at it as though they never actually existed either. Ridiculous. York, I'm sure you've got a plan or something in mind. Go golfing? I'm not okay. shrugging, okay? My, my armrests are just high. George, are you sure? Emily, we need to continue looking go. for Thomas. Our search may just have become a hunt. Yes, get on it. I'll go see Harry alone. Okay. I How much was that chair? I, I don't want to talk myself. about it. <laughs> Thomas? Top, top There's right, by the way. got to be a rational explanation for this. Zach, George has started to change. I think the deaths of Becky and Diane had a deep effect on him. Two American kids getting but killed. I guess this town truly in the heartland. Is a king now. This water texture is absolutely beautiful. Bring it into Photoshop, filter, noise, opacity 100. Uh, it's kind of, considering what we did, that's not really a fair day's wage, in my opinion, but. Okay, then, Zach. Let's pay Harry another visit. And get no, let's do some side quests. That's true, he did get paid to fish. I do like spending a bit of time investigating love. Vidgums. I'm getting a bit sick of being told that I'm either too slow or too fast. You agree with me, right, Zach? Oh, you know what this means. Conversation. We're going back to Corpse Tunnel, boys.
They said it would never happen. We also got some movie talk, I'm sure. Hold on, I gotta do a three-point turn here, I think. You said it would never happen. That is true. That is true. Oh, that's right, we're on music talk. Oh! I'm so sorry, Isaiah! Please! Oh! Oh my god! Just threw away my day's salary! Boys, are you Did okay? You go somewhere before we visit Harry? That's fine by me. <laughs> yeah, your honor, he spawned right in front of me. It's Nintendo Switch popping. Talk to them? Absolutely not. I don't respect Kaysen. He's too horny for me. We will do some side quests on route today, though. Um, did you hear footsteps? <laughs> That's it? I think I think we're out of lines, dude. It's just whistling now. It's true, there is also no engine noise. Maybe it's just a Tesla? We almost, when Kate and I were downtown yesterday, there was like one of the Tesla SUVs and a, uh, a boomer that was walking towards us, maybe like 20 feet away, got absolutely entranced by the interior of the Tesla SUV. He got sucked into the tractor beam and it started pulling him off his vector. Like instead of walking straight, he was walking like a little bit into our path. And then he, when he got close, he just looked at us and went, oh. I was like, it's, it's all right, man. You can't deny your nature. There's nothing that distracts a 65-year-old man like a, a luxury automobile on the street. I'll give this a shot. He did not say sorry. He wasn't from around here. Yeah, I said, I tripped him and said, get out of my way, boomer. Why don't you go to the hospital? Don't worry, it's free. Jackass. Just wish, uh... Wow, she's good. He is very Minkus. She is very Minkus. She's the final boss. She's in she's invincible. You gotta kill she's the champion, you gotta kill all these guys first. No, we don't wait, we do take this first. Oh, never mind, we can't even fit it in our inventory. Steel pipe, that's okay. Oh no. I can't, uh, I can't focus when this song is on. Sorry, it's a piece. I hate the loop, man. The, like, yeah, I'm with you 100%. The way it, uh, it cuts off for a second is like me editing a Digital Storm promo video. This is better. Yeah, I watched Dan play, I watched him play a lot of Tetris yesterday, to be honest with you. Uh, 
He he did. He had a good second place finish, but I'm telling you, like, dude, you're still alive. There's a living creature in here. Where? Where? He, in the top ten, Dan loses his mind. He still needs to get to the point where he's capable of handing or handling the top ten. He plays like now 100 well 99th place to 10th place. I'd say he plays at like a a B level. I think he's like he's not doing too badly. Hey. But then in the top 10, literally as soon as the top 10 music starts, he's just like he's gone. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, yeah. That's my triple collateral on free for all. It is stunning. Dan has, uh, he's got 700 games, no wins. He's going to get there one day. I, b I actually believed yesterday was the day. My friends and I bought Descenders because of the NLSS root beer. Um, it's a good game. Yeah, call me when you beat Wipeout Map. Um, now check the door. Okay, well, let's stay together then. <laughs> We're in. Got him. What is this area? This is Corpse Tunnel. Don't you remember the incredible story we were told about the lumberjack and his hippie wife? I don't even need to tell you who it was. Yeah, that story cost us two grand. It was like going to see a movie in IMAX, am I right, fellow millennials? Mission knife. Excuse me. Somebody's still alive out here. <laughs> Twelve gauge shotgun shells. 12 gauge shock. I mean, I, don't, I had no problem with 12 gauge shotgun shells. We'll pick them up. You don't need the mission knife. They named it badly, okay? Don't want to die. <laughs> Austin, you do have a great uh, American English accent. So now do we go in here? Or do we go back through the freaking door? You go back through the door? This is insane. You know what I mean, Austin. When you go, no! It's not an English accent. It's an American English accent. Yo! You should clean up your inventory. Don't do this to me. He 
he's done it. Why is it red? <laughs> Yo, infinity bullets. Say hello to my little friend. 360 mag magazine. 360 clip cartridge. That is beautiful. Load it up, boys. Yeah, that's like the, the nut gun in Tarkov. 9mm Glock, laser sight, drum magazine. Now go to the lady at the convenience store and buy the other magazine. Or the other spirit map. Okay. Pepsi bottle, Coca-Cola glass. I don't give a damn. No. What? What? This game does not have auto saves. I haven't saved since the stream started. What do you mean, why? I wasn't in a phone rich environment. You gotta go to a phone booth to save. No, not previously during the investigation. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to go back to Corpse Tunnel. <laughs> okay, then, Zach. Let's pay Harry. Oh, okay, okay. All we gotta do, we're back. We at least got through the story section. So we will do Corpse Tunnel. Hey, watch out. I mean, where are... Okay, there they are. What are you talking about? I didn't hit anything. <laughs> I don't want to die. Nothing. Just my imagination. It's bullshit. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> yeah, drive the other way out of the tunnel this time. I don't want to die. That's alright, we can banter. You know what else I watched this weekend? Uh, the Love Guru. I watched it on Amazon Prime because I have a fascination with the... Uh, Watching absolutely terrible movies. I did not. I knew it was bad going in. I had no idea how absolutely awful the movie is so bad. I remember, like, the first 10 minutes of the movie, I was like, don't get me wrong, this is fucking garbage. This is absolutely abysmal. But then, like, 10 minutes in, Vern Troyer is just, he's just sitting down, and he's, he, I remember this one line, just like, it shook me so deep to my core, that I actually had to pause the movie and re-examine whether or not I could even continue. He's just sitting, and he says, if I sit like this any longer, I'm gonna tear my dink bag. And I just thought... There's, there's just so much to unpack. First off, what? <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. So he's just sitting down. And then secondly, people like wrote that line. Um, 
you know, Mike Myers wrote that line in the script. The script went to like a Hollywood studio. They went, sure, we'll give you, you know, fifty-five million dollars to make this movie. They cast Vern Troyer. His his by the way, his name is Coach Cherkov. Great. Get it? Um Great. And then they had him say the line. And he was like, Yeah, I'll do it. I'm I'm still not even I'm not quite done with the movie yet. I still have half of it left. <laughs> Sorry, he says he's gonna pop his dink bag. My mistake. My mistake. It's it's absolutely it's a movie where um I cannot believe that it actually it has like a 14% on Rotten Tomatoes. Which is unfathomable. I that means if you took seven people whose job it was was to watch movies and give their opinions, one of those people statistically would be like, "Yeah, it's worth watching." I don't believe it. I don't, but for that to be at a one in seven is stunning. Yes, Justin Timberlake is indeed in the movie. He plays a Los Angeles Kings goalkeeper called Jacques Lecoq Grand. Um, and his thing is that uh, his his penis is so large that every time Mike Myers sees it, he just says something like, you know, that's a big sausage. That's That's the joke. That's I mean, that's the whole joke. Yeah, they do say Marishka Hargate over and over as like a fake uh, Hindu greeting. Um, and then later in the movie, Marishka Hargate shows up, which is like, you're like, yeah, I got the joke. That's her name. Got him. No, you know, Charles, I've seen the Master of Disguise, brother. I don't know, this <laughs> might be a slightly touchy subject, but I saw a tweet. I don't know if it's true. It's tailored for millennials like myself. But it's it said that, um, you know the scene where he puts on the turtle costume in Master of Disguise and goes to the turtle club? Uh, the tweet that I read said that they were filming that scene when they got the news that like 9-11 was happening and they all got together and had like a moment of silence while Dana Carvey was in the turtle costume just like uh, if if that's real and I, I don't know the timeline feels like it could match up but if that's real that is uh, it is an incredible scene to imagine I could see how they wouldn't laugh during that at the time. You know, that was a that was a scary day. Things on that day felt uh, they didn't feel right. You know, if you saw it in a movie now, you would be like, "This is this is bizarre." But you can just imagine like. Dana Carvey having to give like a speech that's like you know we came here. you know we we gotta the terrorists win if we don't get our work done all right take seventy five am I not turtly enough for the turtle club turtle 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 all right guys it's been a hard day um why don't you take off early. And then it ended up becoming the most enduring uh, scene in the movie, for sure. But again, I don't know if that tweet is real. I mean, the tweet is real. I don't know if the... This feels faster this time. The, the tweet might be... 
real, but it's also a lie. Anyway. You know what I mean? It's a real lie. 1% on Rotten Tomatoes for Master of Disguise. Master of Disguise is absolutely, is horrible. It's a terrible movie. Save? Where, brother? You see a payphone in Corpse Tunnel? I do agree that it's is bad. It's not as bad as a Love Guru. The Love Guru is horrible. It's actually the fourth time I've beaten Corpse Tunnel. Thank you for asking. I'm gonna drive out the same way, dude. If it if it crashes, it crashes. Like, I mean, I gotta go through Corpse Tunnel to get to town anyway, right? Please, no. I mean, they, you don't have, you have no idea whether it's exiting the tunnel that led to the crash. Let's be realistic. You know, I've come to a realization, by the way. This is the this is the new way, I believe. Is this not? This is the new way, but it looks the same. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Bless RNG in the chat, please. Hmm? No, nothing. Just my imagination. I think we've done it. I came to a realization. Dan and I don't agree on movies very often, but we agree on Batman movies a hundred percent of the time. Dan did not like Joker. I did not like Joker. One of Dan's favorite movies is The Dark Knight. I don't know if it's one of my favorite movies. It's a great movie. It's not hard to agree on The Dark Knight, though. I mean, it's a great movie. I do have to figure out how he feels about... Uh, how he feels about The Love Guru. It's a great movie. Okay, we gotta figure out what the heck we're... Step one is probably just drive around till we find a payphone. Like it's 1995. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more loop here. And I'm gonna go to that bar, which must have a payphone. Well, there's no... It's, intersection's all screwed up here. One second. What's... Best Batman? Oh, I, I, honestly, I think it's pretty easy. Like, people are... People might have slightly differing opinions, but Christian Bale is the best Batman actor. That it, I think he's both the best Batman and the best actor who's ever played Batman. I like Michael Keaton! But, uh, I think Christian Bale is like, he's number one by far. Heath Ledger's Joker, still Zach, the best. Did you want to go somewhere before we visit Harry? I don't know That's where else you me. go from that. You know, the best Alfred? I got no idea, dude. Probably Michael Caine, I guess. We've done it. Play darts? If, if they're open for, no, they're closed right now. I can't play darts. <clears throat> the list of good Batman movies is pretty short. Well, so it's Batman, it's The Dark Knight. Then number two is almost certainly Batman Begins. Then it gets complicated. Yo, we got found. We got Ray Kroc in the chat. Albatross, a founder's badge. For the third best Batman, I think you gotta go Batman 1989. Tim Burton, Jack Nicholson, Michael Keaton. Oh, hmm? uh, just no lines Nothing. anymore. Just my imagination. Running away with... Let's do another race here while we're talking Batman, okay? Um, no, number four Batman. 
I think I would put Dark Knight Rises over Batman Returns, but I think they're pretty close. Then you've got... I mean, you don't need to worry about the rest of them. <laughs> Well, initially told by the media. Batman Forever? The only enduring part of uh, Batman Forever is that there's a Flaming Lip song on a Batman soundtrack. There is. In the scene where Jim Carrey decides to become the Riddler. There's a flaming lip song. Okay. Oh my god. I was given a Batman Forever jean jacket for a birthday way back when. Dude, honestly, if you still have that jean jacket, oh my gentle Jesus. That's uh, incredible street cred. That would be, you would get so much kudos for wearing that now. I don't think we're gonna make it, boys. What Batman movie had Kiss from a Rose? Uh, that's, uh, that is Batman Forever. It's gotta be left, right? He's done it. Do you have a Superman power ranking? Honestly, you're not gonna love this. I haven't seen the 70s Superman in a long time, um, but my favorite modern Superman movie is Superman Returns. Oh, crap. I don't think Superman Returns is great, but I think it's way better than Man of Steel. I think it's unbelievably better than uh, Batman vs. Superman. Dunka Dunka. Dunka Dunka to you as well, good sir. I don't even remember what happens in Superman Returns. Uh, Kevin Spacey, uh is in it, which has made it unsuitable for modern remediation. Um, but, he, you know, bad person, he's having fun in the role, and it was 2006. Nobody knew, right? Well, okay, I shouldn't say nobody knew, but, I mean, I didn't know. I was, like, I was 17 years old, <laughs> living in rural Canada. I didn't know. I'm not doing the race again. That's just Back, too much. If you notice anything, just just give me more lines. That's true, it was directed by Brian Singer as well. It's kind of like, in the modern era, that movie is just kind of like, you know, Superman, colon, yikes. <laughs> it's an onion. Closed? It's 6.30. It's dinner time. Is, are they open? Is the bar open at 6? Help. 
Good Day Bakery. That's closing time around here. It's like when I go visit my parents and then it's like, you know, 8 p.m. and Kate's like, I'm hungry. I'm like, well, that's the problem. Everything's closed. This, the whole town shuts down around 7.45. Your choices are sketchy 24-hour McDonald's and sketchy Harvey's that closes at 10.30. Harvey's is like, a, it's just another fast food chain. Closed. All right, I'm having a great time. Um, okay, Nick is there. Brian's house. That's where you, you can go to sleep there. There's just a random bed. Um, that's Pink House. <laughs> Buy a better car at the scrapyard. Anybody, anybody know uh, offhand how to get to the scrapyard? Can you give me directions that don't require me pulling up this absolutely terrible map? Yo, I remember going to Harvey's in Niagara Falls. Pardon me. Uh, dude, Harvey's is... Excuse me, sir. Harvey's is fine. I mean, it's, it's a burger chain. It's like, you know. It's one of the worst fast foods. So, I, I mean, to be fair, I haven't eaten at a Harvey's in over a decade. But my memory disagrees. My memory disagrees with you. I will not go eat that shit. It doesn't fit into my macros. This is the gas station. Okay, gas station and convenience store are close, right? Gun store. Is that karaoke or is that a flashlight? got to be a flashlight. Oh, it's the freaking... Is it the lumber yard again? God damn it. I got to tell you, by the way, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus here, but I, I've had a little... I've had episodes of uh, gastrointestinal distress today, and uh, I got to tell you, it's because I ate at the movie theater again. We... We ended up being too early to the movie, which it happens now and then. So I said, you know what? I'll, I'll eat at the movie theater. I don't want to just get popcorn. So I got like a buffalo chicken wrap and it was just like... Woke up this morning. Don't believe what I saw. And uh, I was like, hey, why does my stomach feel like it's uh, filled with liquid hot magma? And I was like, ah, the buffalo chicken rap at the movie theater big mistake darts open it was a mistake but I was like you know I don't want to eat popcorn for dinner the Julians are not right you know it's just it's just corn and salt so I said, I'll get a buffalo chicken wrap, and then you'll, you'll regret it. Sorry, boys. Cops are here. <laughs> Yo, we need these. That's like the most clutch item you could ever find in this game. If 
you wanted protein, all you had to do was throw nuts into the popcorn. That's like a vegetarian myth, okay? Whoa. Whoa. They're not that protein rich, is what I'm trying to say. She. Jeez Louise. It's like when people tell you that, you know, there's protein in peanut butter. You're like, yeah. I mean, there is. Hey. But, uh, you know, not as much as in the Cliff Builders bar. What do you recommend? How about a tequila sunrise? Mick Jagger's love affair with one of these beauties is well documented. Okay, so you're a romantic one. All men are romantic, you know. Even you, I'm sure. Ask yourself seriously. By the way, did you see Quint's menu? His menu's a little different from mine. Just adds a little personality to the place. So I'm supposed to buy the dart gun, I'm sure. Jambalaya. Roast duck. Spicy tacos. Dart gun! Throw away the knife. <laughs> oh my god. You loaded backwards? Handcrafted by Richard. Just holler anytime you need to drink. Alright. Hello. Everyone's watching the sports program, understandably, as entertainment must be scarce up here. I get it, you're a gamer. Here we go, boys. If you get a good score, I will give you a present. One play is $50. Sure, that seems reasonable. How about a counting rule explanation? You can fire three darts per round. Your score is the total of eight rounds. That means you get to shoot 24 darts. See those numbers on the outside rim of the board? That's how many points you get when you hit those areas on the board. However, an outside double line is worth double points, and an inside and an in inside triple line is worth triple points. The bullseye is worth 50 points. So the most points you can get with one dart is 60 on the 20 point triple line. Did you get all that, or did you want me to go through it again? Um, I got all that. You asked me a double negative question! Don't go through it again. I'll give you a prize if you can get a high score playing count up. You want to give it a shot? Try to make it into the high scores. Aim with the L. What on earth? How do you shoot the dart? <laughs> they just lied to me. You shoot the dart with R. What the heck? High score, 2017? Why do I have to... Sh what, what the heck does this mean now? These are, these are lighting. They're lighting up. Is that good? Well, I'm telling you, I think we're gonna make it. Triple 17 times 5. <laughs> this is unfathomable. Oh. Over this riff. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? 
It's like the song they play when you pick a car in an old NASCAR game. Triple 19 times 5. Oh, that was close. Purple. Well, eight is the highest number. But I don't know. Tri triple times five? Eight? Is that better than triple 20? Yeah, it's like twice as good. Okay, fair enough. All right, we still gotta get 800 points. Oh yeah, hold on, he's up on the pulse meter there. My man's pulse is, is out of control. It's not going down. Might not be able to concentrate for a bit. It's got to be very, very careful with your concentration here. You can only use it a little bit. Give me double 18, please. Let's uh, triple 18. Sorry, that's what I meant. The music is so ass, dude. Oh my god, look at it. I'm not going to say the music is not ass, because it's definitely, it's ass. There's absolutely no doubt about that. <laughs> Very arcadey, I like it. No, I don't believe you. No! Single 20? Oh, now we can just eat him, right? Let's get a shaky hands bullseye just to flex. Whoa! God, he's good. This is what it's like for me to aim in PUBG, so I'm very familiar with it. <laughs> no way. No way. The style points. <laughs> Bullseye times 10. Marvelous. Darts ranking. We just absolutely crapped on them. Oh, man. That hasn't happened for a while. Well, I am a cop. Are we good? Did I do something bad? Oh, yeah, bad for me. Good for you. Son of a gun. I'm not <laughs> sure that I followed you. You just broke the record I said a few years ago. Not so. Hey, man. Show a little more excitement, will ya? They're all FBI agents. This is tough to use. I do work for the government. Anyway. I had no idea you were so good at darts. When did you start playing? I started when I came to this town. <laughs> oh, that was my first game ever. The thing about darts is that it's 20% technique and 80% is all powerful That's why I'm so good at it. You need a powerful mind. You must have a very powerful mind. We went through mental training at Quantico. Hey, there's your prize. What's this for? You're getting the highest score. You won't see many of these around. Take good care of it. 
A bag that will let you hold more weapons. That's a huge get. I had no idea. What do you mean I won't see many of these around? Leave darts game? Uh, yes? Quit equals yes? Oh my god, thank, thank the lord the music is over. It just stops instantly. <laughs> Just leave him with this on the way out. Three, two, one, go. It's really good. That's it, huh? That's all they got? Brother, you don't have anything in your hand. Two, one, here it goes. <laughs> Go talk to Quint behind the bar. Oh, my pleasure. Behind the bar outside. That's not what behind the bar normally means. Behind the building. Hey, sorry, he's closed? eating those beans yo so he lives in a trailer but he's got an electronic dartboard in there that's incredible it's got more square footage than our apartment and a full dining table <laughs> Look, I don't know. More power to you. Yo, nice car, though. You gotta admit. Doesn't look too flashy on the outside. Okay. Whatever you say. Other trailer? Other trailer. <coughs> Pardon me. It's the buffalo chicken wrap, dude. The other trailer is also closed. I'm not looking at that. It's an invasion of privacy. Thank you for the bless use, by the way. Thank you. Okay, where the heck is the scrapyard, dude? I need a new car. Or I need to find my way to the convenience uh, store. South of gas station. <laughs> you, got, you got you got milk in there. That's a heavy car. You almost flipped over my uh, SUV like Christopher Nolan in The Dark Knight. <laughs> we are out of vocal lines. <laughs> I didn't want to believe. <laughs> the milk barn's closed. Okay, someone said south of the gas station. Unfortunately, the map turns with us. So I can only assume that we're driving northeast right now. So this is south. <laughs> Whoa, Kaysen! Or I don't know, are we driving north right now because it's an arrow pointing up or is it a view cone pointing down? Who knows?
<laughs> Pause and check the stationary map. Look at where the sun is setting. Okay. So north is down and to the left, which means up and to the right is south. So this is so this is south. Yeah, because the cone points at north. Understood. It's pretty simple. It's not not even complicated like at all. Red tree, by the way. Nice. Where do you uh, live? Ah, oh, I'm on Servant. October Street and Servant Street. Are you the... Are you the scrapyard, sir? There do appear to be a lot of cars here. Yo, thank you. Vosselheim. Certainly this appears to be the scrapyard. Let me in, please. Booty 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 da 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 It's open, dude. At least at least something in this town stays open. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are. You came at a good time, son. I've come to hear more about the raincoat killer. Don't rush. Rushing on the battlefield will get you killed. If you don't want to die, son, you should be methodical. Well, even that, even though that's a huge amount of scrap metal. Humph. You must be the only guy to see scrap when you look at those treasures. Look more carefully. Right here, just in front of you, that is what you're looking for. Come on, a car. There's still plenty of parts that can be used. Son, if you're ready to get your hands dirty, you should find useful parts for your car. What do you think? <laughs> Apple Star Thomas's car. Just give me the most expensive car. <laughs> it is weird that you can just buy other people's cars. Yo, speed fast, handling difficult, that sounds perfect. Where is it? I just bought a car. Where where's the car? Hold on. You got you got a side quest for me? Now then, young fella. How do you feel about your current vehicle? My vehicle? It's a piece of crap, but I'm not here to talk about that. Then how about a little treasure hunt? Listen up, young man. My junkyard is actually a mountain of treasure. All kinds of treasure lies in those mountains of junk. The problem is, there's so many, I've lost track of where everything is. <laughs> There's a hole in daddy's arm where You've all the money goes. Already. I can see it in your eyes. I need you to head out in the yard and find certain things for me. If you help me out, I'll customize your car a little. What are you talking about? Didn't I tell you to shut up and listen to your Whoa. superiors? Oh, <laughs> you're superiors. Do it or not. I don't see any reason to refuse. Well said. First, I'll need some low gear parts. With that, I'll be able to boost the engine of your car. You'll find one around E5. <laughs> Go! Don't just stand there, get going! E5. Uh, Bengo. 
Excuse me, sir, if you don't mind, where the hell is E5? Oh, I see. Five. It's on the other side of the junkyard. If you give me a moment. If you'll just give me a second. Is there another... How do I... Sir, how do I cross the fence? Oh, by breaking it. You know what? First time we got a chance to do this. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend, by the way. E5. Well... I see it. <sighs> what does this have to do with the plot? We're getting a faster car, is the thing. Don't ask questions. <laughs> Got it. This is, by the way, I know like how you're feeling about this right now. Take that feeling. That's how I feel about side quests in every single video game. I know you're like, what about the, the Dark Elves Guild in Skyrim? I'm like, nah, dude. Same, it's the same shit. It's just instead of low gear parts, they're like, you know, Oh, get me some raven's blood. It's the same thing. There's no difference. What do you want again? I got your parts, dude. Yes. Here you are. Low gear parts. This is it. This will save what? your life someday, son. You sure know how to exaggerate. You imbecile. Engine boost is vital for bringing back soldiers alive from war. Engine boost? Of course. Engine boost is the basis of everything. Let me tell you a war story, Oh, son. here we go. I was leading my unit at the very front line. Things were bad, and sanitary conditions were worse. <laughs> Endless guerrilla attacks were stripping us of our manpower. Everyone was tired to their limits. There was one sergeant who really rubbed me the wrong way. The boys like to call him Crybaby Timothy. He really gave me headaches, I can tell you. How? Just by breathing. His posture was bad. He was weak, yeah, but what is, sir, what does slow, this have to do with the vehicle? Distracted. I was just, I came I here to no get a car upgrade, and now you're capable of combat in a war regaling zone. me with this story? He the lives of every member of the unit. I just, like, I just came in for a routine oil check, Worst stomach sir. stomach ache ever. Every one of us. It was just cooking. He was using food that was contaminated. Sorry, I just came in because my brake light was the unhooked. toilet like an Apache chopper returning to base. I have to tell you, it was a close call. My engine was boosting. Oh, he sounds like he ate at That's the movie what theater. Got me there safely, right in the nick of time. What happened to the unit? You really want to know? It was a terrible sight. <laughs> Powerful, athletic men reduced to walking dead. Oh, I got these Blinking scars. Like crazy, shaking with pain. Their confidence and self esteem were all crushed. They almost didn't recover. An interesting anyway, story. Anyway, go get me these new <laughs> brake pads. They're located in the FU. You for engine boost now, do you? I'll keep my side of the promise and get to work on your vehicle. Ooh, did you see that man spread? My man's not afraid that to use on him is for a sergeant. every square inch of that Muskoka like it was chair. sewn on something else before it was sewn onto his shirt. I wonder what that's all about. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, he's back. Put in longer pistons and optimized your lower gears. That should add Thanks, boost Daddy. to your speed when you accelerate. 
but there's still plenty of stuff I can do to make your car go faster. Just come see me again and I'll customize your car a little more. Okay. All right. What do you want again? Talk. Rank makes the man. That's true, but then the man also makes the rank. Status isn't as important as self-confidence. All right, no more side quests for him, apparently. Yo! The music. Yo, this is mouth music. Oh, it doesn't handle that well. Zach, if you notice anything, just stop me. Now I've always, we drive uh, from high school to the closest Subway sandwich restaurant. Malf would always put on something like this, and I'd be like, hey, man, come on. Can't we just listen to the arcade fire or something? We're going chicken wheel, boys. It is hard to handle. <laughs> There's Corpse Tunnel. Didn't Mal play this when he choked you out? <laughs> oh. He wasn't playing anything. He was playing himself. This is like the song your friend plays for you. He's like, yo, dude, you gotta listen to this song. And you're like, uh, I don't know, man. It's like, it's a little busy. And he's like, nah, I'm a little busy, I should say. And he's like, nah, dude, you gotta hear this. And you're like, okay, I'll listen to one. And he links you to like an 11 and a half minute Opeth song. Every 30 seconds, he asks you what you think about it. Like, yeah, it's okay. Okay! It's transcendent. I, have, I don't. I do not believe I'm going the right way. It was not Mouth. Mouth. Mouth knows his audience. We have another. Well, we had an acquaintance in high school who would do that to me all the time. I went and saw a V for Vendetta with him in theaters, and he wouldn't shut the hell up. So I just. I never went and saw another movie with him again as long as I lived. He talked through like the whole movie. I was like, I get it, dude. You think Natalie Portman's hot? No kidding. Did he like Joker? I have no idea whether or not he liked Joker because I haven't talked to him since 2006. Is there another radio channel? Absolutely not. Oh no. Don't be foolish. Yeah, we're definitely like not supposed to be here. I think, yeah. Okay, well. No, he never made me, uh, he never made me listen to Pink Floyd. He didn't. There's no point in looking at the map. You can only... The map is, like, worse than your eyes. Because you can only look at, like, things that are two blocks away. The map is actually worse than just... You know, winging it. Oh, more?
It's not handling the walls too well, boys. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna have to get my car washed after this. Ah! He's done it. Please, I would just like to go back to town. The car is very fuel efficient. You know what they say about American muscle. Always great on the gas mileage. Your car is half dead, Ryan. Yeah, well, um, Mariska Hargitay you as well. Please just take me to a road. The license plate does say LVB forever. What do you think that means? LVB. Love boat. Love for boners. Lover boy. Love booty forever. Love Becky forever. Absolutely. Well, I found myself back where we started <sighs> okay we go back and use the train tracks dude do we, I don't know what you're complaining about with the song it's only uh it's only nine and a half minutes long, and they're doing technical stuff that no other band out there is doing right now. Like the drummer, it's crazy. He's got 15 kick pedals. It's amazing. And the time signatures, don't even get me started. They only write songs in time signatures with prime numbers combined with the Fibonacci sequence. There's even an homage to Stone Cold Steve Austin in there. Please! Well, we've almost paid for the car just by picking up these old war medals. No, I have not seen El Camino yet, but I did listen to the song. Come on, come on, come on, baby, just hold together. He's done it. It's starting to grow on me. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Hello. Finally, you have arrived. You are welcome. I came as fast as I could. Oh, don't make me do another puzzle to get into his office, I swear to God. Just let me talk to the man. He sent me out on a fetch quest. The least he could do is just let me talk to him. 
Looks like the next game is hide and seek. Huh? That is the song that plays when there's zombies around. Don't kill me. I'll tell you, many, many people are about to say hello to my little friend. These girls, Zach. Do you see the resemblance? Anna, Becky. She looks like Diane. And Carol. Carol! Zach Emily. That's all six middle aged women in town. Well, I guess there's no way we can go back. <laughs> okay, you got me. You got me. Well, that's my mistake. Thought I could go that way. Say hello to my little friend. Great. Amazing. Nice shot. means you gotta solve a puzzle. Oh, never mind. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's pretty tough. Amazing. Oh, send them. You shouldn't have messed with me. I'm a gamer. I know what barrels do. And I would know. Never remember which way you go here. Usually you just follow loot. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a turkey sandwich back there? There better be. My pulse is getting too high. There is a turkey sandwich back here. Deny that. It was a turkey sandwich. I'm going back into the puzzle room. This time, come out of here, turn left. That did, it felt very briefly like Resident Evil 2. Just for a brief moment, it was Resident Evil. 
I like the glass just falling down from the window. Yes, bullseye. Amazing. No dogs better jump out of me, that's all I'm saying. Yes. Still on the fence Bullseye. about whether or not they're ever gonna explain the whole zombie thing. Amazing. Yes. Like it it's now gone on so long that uh Bullseye. I just it's just the game now. So if they never explain it, I'm like, I think I'm okay with it. It's because the producers saw that zombie games were popular. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Say hello to my little friend. Amazing. Large first aid kid? Yo, there must be a boss after this. I hope he can die in infinite bullets. Oh, let's go! He's done it. Take a quick shave if you want to. Just kidding. I will not. It's locked? Okay. I thought maybe after we saved it would be like, go ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> this way. Yeah, yeah, this with the red light, the red light. No, no, no. Don't remind me, dude. I still, uh... I got the Witch Episode 4 left to do. That's it. It's the only thing I got left in Dicey Dungeons. And it's absolutely horrible. Yes. Amazing. Have you softened a little bit for the witch or the inventor? No. I think the witch is a fun character that is not balanced well uh, for the game. I think the inventor is a not fun character. Nice shot. Great. You haven't done the final episode yet? It's funny that you would say that because I have. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. You seem very confident in your uh, in your opinion. But Amazing. Yes. Having access to my own memory, I gotta tell you, you would be mistaken. There is an extra hard set for episode six that Great. will never happen. Awesome. Yes. Amazing. <clears throat> Great. Amazing. No, I mean, I like the jester. I like, uh... The robot. 120 bucks, baby. But I'm not really interested in, like, playing more dicey dungeons once I'm done. I'm ready for this game to be over.
move on. Said nobody ever. What's gonna be next? I'm not really worried about it, um, because I still have to finish episode four as the as the witch, which might take 25 years. Oh, very spooky. And the content after that, too? No. Wow, you almost got me. Let me through the combat so I can get more cutscenes, please. I'm ready. Ah, oh, frick. We're going the wrong way, aren't we? I'm all lost in the supermarket. I can no longer shop happily. Came in here for a story mission. A guaranteed exposition, please. Frig off, you hoser. I mean, don't you get lost in here, sir? They did say frog off. Surely I have to go to the key. Would you rather your new place have enough space for a power rack? Or just live close to a gym? Uh, I mean, I would rather have a good apartment gym, for sure. Than live close to a gym. But it is what it is, right? Key just equals lock. So this is key door. So where the heck am I supposed to go, brother? <laughs> Try opening the <laughs> the drawer again. Why uh, wax these windows when you could? Why wash the windows when you could wax these drawers? Okay, first grade instructions. Okay, we go around this in the opposite direction. Okay. Okay. Are apartment gyms common where you are? They are. And, like, um, some of them are really good. And some of them, you can tell, they were just like, we told these suckers... There was gonna be a gym. Uh -huh. So there's like six treadmills and nothing else. Like a five pound kettlebell. But some of them are actually good. Emily! Oh. At times we must purge things from this world because they should. That is not how Thomas walks. Even if it means losing something. That's not Thomas. 
Stop! <laughs> Spider-Man? Oh, that is his dad. You're absolutely right. Zack, did you see that? I must be getting tired. <laughs> this is like that one scene from One Tree Hill. I gotta tell you, you're on your own with that one, brother. There's a switch on the statue. Should we push it? Would be fun if the mansion transforms into something totally unexpected. Said no one ever. Let's push left. Oh, it's a tough one. Oh my god. God, he's good. <laughs> We, we didn't even have to listen to the song. OTI, first try. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you. This is prime mind flood music. Why does he have a, a digital map of the world? Like he's about to launch a nuclear missile. <laughs> oh, he's gonna hit Vancouver! Did you see that? He's got Vancouver marked with a big green light. Zach, looks like we're out of the countryside and back in civilization. Cheese grater door. So you can still slide bananas in if he gets hungry. Welcome, York. <laughs> I brought the documents. Just what is going on in here? I warned you about haste. Take it slow. You'll lose sight of what's important if you just rush past it. As an agent of the FBI, I'm sure you know. So many people have got it all wrong. Oh no, he's gonna start Eating talking about the deep state. The key. That being first is the best. They want speed and are satisfied with what the speed brings. Even if it means that they miss so much on the way, they don't even see. Hey, can you get these documents for me? Psych! You did it too fast, dumbass. Enjoy your lecture. I see it all. Then, when the time comes, I make use of what I've seen. I can get whatever I want in this way. Anything at all. You're just watching the news, dude. It doesn't You're make you engaged. talk today, Harry. But I didn't come here for a business lecture. Tell me everything you know. Speed is not important. I can't help but Time think that you're being a little biased. Timing. York, you have a natural gift for waiting for the correct timing. Just be careful that your haste does not ruin everything. That will be vital to solving the current case at hand. York, I know more than you think, it's but really less than so what you hope. York! One, you have Nick in custody. Two, Thomas is missing. Three, I get Carol it. has Thomas is alone, etc., etc. I also know that this case revolves around the Red Seeds. <laughs> but that's about it. So you've got an inside line on police information. That reminds me, the victim's tongues were cut out. <laughs> what is this? I but love the picture of just the dude in space. Don't let the shocks blind you to what's more important. 
Always seeing that on the news. Just a, an American astronaut floating during a space You gather information really well. You hacked into the FBI network, too. Amazing. But I didn't come here to hear this. There he is again. Then let us close the business seminar. It's time for a history lesson oh, instead. No. In the shower? I remember it as though it were yesterday, if you'll pardon the cliche. It was dark, rainy, a foggy night. My parents, who normally got along, were fighting over something. My father was blaming The start of uh, Captain America Civil War. So I left the house, headed for the clock tower. The clock there tower. Was a party I wanted to see the town from above, and so I decided to climb the tower. It's the Three-Eyed Raven, Bran Stark. Curious child. Saw me <laughs> what are you wearing, man? I'm not sure why, but I was really drawn to the tower in some way. And that's why I knew. From the pit in the theater, there's a path to the they were just cleaning up after the party, so it was easy to get into the theater. I used the secret passage to sneak into the tower. <laughs> but when I reached the top... He's dressed like an old English dock worker. Which way do I go? When I got outside again, the purple fog was spreading. I covered my nose and mouth and ran home. I unconsciously counted the number of times the bell rang. After the twelfth time, the bell did not stop. That's 1 p.m. Oh my god. Well, I guess I got my answer. Please do the suck it motion. Raining anymore, and the 
purple fog was gone. I couldn't believe what I saw and what I myself had done. But even worse things were waiting for me when I got home. Even worse than the, my mother was dead. the massacre. <laughs> Killed, presumably, also by my father. The next day, the town was overrun by military personnel. That's when the gag order was issued. Talking about the incident was unappreciated, a taboo. But even still, people stopped going outside when it rained. Country folk are very patriotic. Okay, Connor, please. We never tell our children about what happened. But these things find a way out of even the tightest of lips, in parts. People only speak of the killer in the red raincoat, which is where the legend of the raincoat killer comes from. Quite a story. After the incident, the gas seeped into the soil of the town. Even today... On a, on a physical like level, it doesn't seem to make sense. That's why I never take my mask off when I'm outside. This town is dirty, York. If what you say is true, then the killer is someone who is badly affected when it rains. You need to draw the conclusions, not I. I have no conclusions. Is there a connection between the red seeds and the gas then? Did you read the document? This is just my own presumption. The seeds and the gas have a similar effect on our nervous systems. I believe someone figured that out and decided to use it. Or it could just be nature's way of getting back at us humans. York! <laughs> Protect your constitutional rights. You no one else can do it for you. I've told you is gibberish. What? I never hacked into the FBI server. And I certainly know nothing about the red seeds. <laughs> it was like 15 you minutes. Man, you just pranked me? Let me ask you one thing then. You're a businessman. You must be after something in return for giving me this information. York, at times we must purge Thank things you. from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. But this dude is not just a <laughs> Real shit. very minkus she is very minkus he is very 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 minkus he is minkus she is minkus together they reside in a minkus family Thomas. Ah, he's at his house, right? How did you know that? <laughs> it's, it's a pretty timing. plausible timing. guess. Good timing. Uh, whatever, just get in. George is heading over there already. This is Donkey Kong Let's Country. Move on. Dude. Zach, things are finally starting to come together. All we need now is for Thomas to fill in the blanks in our new legend. 
I like how she moves over so we can drive. <laughs> Alright, surely we got some dialogue here. <laughs> he was missing at his own house. I love Mav. Oh, Jesus. Get off the road, you madman! There's a killer on the loose. Was anything from Harry true? I think it was true. He was just hitting us with a little wink wink nudge nudge. That like, hey, what I told you was false. Wink. In a very, very bizarre way. Thanks, thanks. I forgot my heart rate was getting a little too high from this high octane driving. Yeah, everything I told you was false, unless you're serious. Maybe you should drive him. Yeah, this suit is black, not. This suit is not black. Man, this is exhilarating. There's a real sense of speed here. Stop by for some gas quickly. Still, no dialogue, huh? How flooded by this music? Pretty flooded. Oh, two roads diverging it. Redwood. Do you think Mr. Skeletal has to type in his computer when he nuts? So Mr. Skeletal surely is um, Harry, but, but what do you mean? Does he have to type in his computer when he... You're, you're suggesting does he have to type, uh, I'm gonna nut. That's what you... I have to imagine that it's one of those things that, you know, people who are not afflicted with that sort of uh, condition probably think preoccupies you. But I'm pretty sure when, if you actually asked him, he would be like, I don't worry about it all that much, dude. Mostly it's just annoying that I can't walk. The, the banal trappings of your life do not interest me. What if he was paralyzed because of the nut? I think it, it probably has something to do with the, the fact that he hit his brainstem on that really sharp rock. But he might have nutted when he hit his head, I suppose. I can't... They didn't show that part. The involuntary nut, the most dangerous of all. That's how uh, 40 Days and 40 Nights with Josh Hartnett ended. 